Welcome to section 6.1, Solving Linear Systems by Graphing. Today we're going to solve systems of equations by graphing. A linear system is made up of two or more linear equations. The solution of a linear system is any ordered pair that makes all the equations true. Graphically, the solution of a linear system is the point where the lines cross. So we're graphing, we're going to look where the lines cross, where they touch each other. Here we have solve the linear system graphically, and then it says to check the solution algebraically. We have 3x plus y equals 4, and we have x minus 2y equals 6. If it makes it easier for you to graph, put them into slope-intercept form. If you can graph from intercepts, you can use the intercepts as well. For the first one, we're going to move the 3x over, and we get y equals negative 3x plus 4. So we have our intercept is 4. We're going down 3 over 1, down 3 over 1, down 3 over 1. And we have a line going through our points. All right. Then we have x minus 2y equals 6. Minus x to move it over, we get negative 2y equals negative x plus 6. Divide by negative 2. And we get y is 1 half x minus 3. So on this line, we're at negative 3. Going up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2. And we have a line like so. Arrows on the ends, don't forget the arrows. And you'll see that we cross each other right here. And this point is at 2, negative 2. So we need to say where we cross at 2, negative 2. And then it says to check the solution algebraically. To check it algebraically, we must plug it into both equations. We have to make sure that this point works for both equations, that it makes both equations true. For our first equation, we have 3 times 2 minus our y, which is 2, equals 4. Does 6 minus 2 equal 4? It does, so it works in the first one. we got to put it in the second one. We have 2 minus 2 times negative 2 equals 6. Does 2 plus 4 equal 6? And it does. And when I want to see your checks, this is what I need to see. You plug it in, and I need to see the numbers on both sides are the same. So don't stop early. Get all the way down to 4 equals 4, all the way down to 6 equals 6. You also need to show me what point it is by writing the point out. So in this case, we cross that 2, negative 2. So the next one we have x plus y equals 3, and we have negative 2x plus 2y equals 2, and it says to solve the system graphically and check it algebraically. So I'm going to do intercept method for this because you guys need some practice with intercepts, and it's actually really fast to do. If we have x plus y equals 3, if we make the y go to 0, that means my x-intercept is 3. If I want the y-intercept to make x go to 0, and all we're left with is y equals 3. And there is... And again, if you need to, go ahead and if you need to, put it into slope-intercept form. That is perfectly fine. For the next one, if I make my y go to 0, I'm left with negative 2x equals 2. Divide by negative 2, I get x is negative 1. So my intercept is here. If I make my x go to 0, I get 2y equals 2. Divide by 2, you get y is 1. And if we make our line, it goes right through here. Put arrows on the ends, and we cross right here. And this point is at the point 1, 2. We need to check this 
algebraically to make sure it works. So we have our x plus our y equals 3. Does 3 equal 3? Yes, it does. We plug it in the next one. We have negative 2 times 1 plus 2 times 2. Does that equal 2? Does negative 2 plus 4 equal 2? Yes, 2 equals 2. So we've done the check. Again, when I, when I ask for a check, I want to see that whole process. You plug it in, you get numbers equal to the same number. All right. This is solving graphically and then checking the solution algebraically. All right. So when we solve linear systems graphically, there are three possible cases that can happen. The first case is what we did in the last two slides. We get one solution. The lines cross. And when this happens, the two lines have different slopes and usually have different y-intercepts unless they actually cross at the y-intercept. But generally, you have two different slopes and two different intercepts. That's what we had in the previous ones. This is where we have one solution. The lines cross somewhere. The second case, the lines are parallel. In this case, they'll have the same slope, but their y-intercepts will be different. And when this happens, we actually write down that the system has no solution. So the previous ones we did, we wrote down the point where they crossed. For if you get this, I want to see you writing no solution. I want to make sure you understand that when they don't cross, there's, they're never going to cross, and there's no way to solve the system. And our last possibility is the lines are what we call coincident. This means the lines are on top of each other. Basically, it's the same line graphed twice. This means they have the same slope and the same y-intercept. And when they have the same slope and same intercept and they're on top of each other, it's basically the same line. And there are infinitely many solutions. Lines are infinite. They go on forever. We have infinite solutions. And what I want to see when you have the same line you need to write infinite solutions. It's even better to add that it's the same line. But you need to tell me that there's infinite solutions when it's the same line to graph twice. So here it says, tell whether the linear system has no solution or infinitely many solutions. So we're going to graph them and see what happens. Our first one, we have a intercept of negative 7, which is down here. Our slope is positive 2, so we're going up 2 over 1. We're going to draw our line. All right, then we have 4x minus 2y equals 14. We can rewrite this into slope-intercept form. You might see what's going to happen already. We subtract 4x from both sides. We get negative 4x plus 14, divide by negative 2, and we get y is 2x minus 7, and we get the same line. So we're going to say infinite solutions, same line. And yes, you must graph it. Even if you see that it's the same line, you must graph it. This, this, this section is on graphing, so you must graph. Here's our word problem of the day. Suppose one puppy weighs five pounds at birth and grows at a rate of one quarter pound per month over the first several months. Another puppy weighs four pounds at birth and grows at a rate of one half pound per month. After how many months will the puppies weigh the same amount? We have the graph of a word problem we must label. And we have months in here, which is time. That's gonna be our horizontal. And our weight is dependent on time, so this is my weight, my vertical. We have to write equations to see what's going on. Well, we have a rate of change of one quarter pound per month, and it started at five pounds. That's one of our puppies. I'm going to give M for months. So we have our puppy, we'll say Y, we could use W if we want to, is one fourth, M plus 
five. Our second puppy, he starts at four pounds and goes at a rate of one half pound per month. Our rate of change is one half times months. And we're gonna graph these and see where they cross. First puppy has an intercept of five, one, two, three, four, five. And it's going up one over four. One quarter, one pound for four months. One pound, four months. We graph our line. Notice I didn't put an arrow on the left because we can't go back in time like this. The second puppy starts at four pounds and grows at a half pound per month. Up one over two, up one over two, and you will see that they've already crossed, but I'm gonna put these in here so you can see a little better. And my lines aren't the greatest, but they cross right there. So when you look at this, it asks, after how many months will the puppies weigh the same amount? Well, after four months. And they will both weigh six pounds. So when you have a word problem, you're gonna have to write the two equations off the word problem, graph them, see where they cross, answer the question it gives you. That is all for section 6.1, Solving Systems of Linear Equations by Graphing. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.